video. This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. This episode, we're in sunny San Diego, California. I've uh, actually met up with somebody by the name of Melinda Everett, who does some jump rope demonstrations. She works with the team, and she's been kind enough to bring out a couple of her kids to help show some long rope skills. Um, and we're going to be doing the rainbow for the JV skill and then double edge eyeballs. Uh, they take a lot of practice. They're not something you're going to get right away. Um, and we, you know, we, we had a couple mess ups working on this, but you know, that's kind of the fun part about long rope is getting a lot of people in the ropes at one time and just seeing some different tricks that you can do. So hope you enjoy these. And I know I'm enjoying the weather down here while it's snowing everywhere else in the country. The JV skill. Today we are going to be learning the JV skill of rainbow. This is where we have a 25 foot jump rope, a 15 foot jump rope and a single rope and we're gonna try and get them all going in the same spot at the same time. We're gonna start off with having the 15 foot jump rope practice by trying to jump double bounce and turn at the same time. Very good. Now we're gonna have them do the same thing again and we're gonna have the single rope jump into the center while jumping high and bringing their arms up to begin with and jumping double bounce. Now that they have that down, they're gonna count ready, set, go and pull out, leaving the single rope jumping by himself. Very good. Next, we're gonna turn our 25 foot rope and we're going to have the 15 foot rope try and jump inside here. Now that we have this down, we're going to try and pull out our rope. Ready, set, go. Great, now we're ready to add it all together. Ready, set, go. Varsity skill. For the varsity skill, we are going to be doing double dutch eyeballs. To learn double dutch eyeballs, we're going to start with shorter ropes, and we're going to pick up just one. We're going to hold it and we are gonna to turn towards the inside and we're gonna start by just almost shaking it. And we're gonna get two loops going, which we actually call eyelids. And now once we have that down, we are gonna go ahead and put that rope down and grab the other rope and do the same thing, turning to the inside. Now once we have that with both ropes, we're gonna try it with both ropes at the same time. So we're gonna just start by shaking the ropes and getting two loops of almost double dutch going. And once we have this down, we're ready to go to the big ropes. We're ready to go ahead and practice our turning. We usually start by taking a small step back and then a small step in, keeping our shoulders broad and our arms as far apart as possible. Great, now that we have that down, we're ready to add our jumpers. First of all, we have our jumpers going in on opposite sides, diagonally from each other, so that they can go in at the exact same time. They're gonna start by taking a step with their right foot and then turning to face the jumpers, jumping on their left foot first. We have them facing their turners so that they don't get confused if the other loop is going at a slightly different time. For practicing, we're gonna start with one jumper going in Now that we have one jumper in there, we're gonna have them both try and go in at the exact same time. We're gonna count with the rope going closest to them when it hits the ground, counting ready, set, go. They're gonna go in, take six jumps and out. Now while they're jumping, they're gonna have to be jumping with their knees getting all the way up to their chest and their bodies hunched over a little bit so that they, so that they don't touch the ropes.
Ready, set, go. Six. And that concludes our varsity double dutch eyeballs. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.